Welcome to this third class in our yoga, mini yoga series. This class is called You Had Me at Hips. For all the Jerry Maguire fans, you had me at hello. But today it's You Had Me at Hips, and this is a perfect practice. Um, well, anytime, of course, but would feel so delicious after maybe you have just done um, some other type of activity, whether you biked or ran or gardened or whatever, um, or your body's just a little bit warm and you're just wanting a good stretch. It also could be a lovely class before bed or anytime you're just needing to really relax. We're gonna be seated and laying down for this practice. You're gonna get a lot of hip, quad, hamstring, that kind of thing is what we're getting into since you had me at hips. All right, so to start, I want you to cross your right shin in front of your left shin. And I'm just gonna hold my hands on my knees and I'm just gonna start to lean a little bit side to side. So these are some of my favorite things I'm gonna give you today that I kind of wish, <laughs> you know when you're done doing a workout or something and you just want that just right class? Well, this is what I would do. So it may not be you're just right, but hopefully, now if you wanna start adding circles in there, start to bring the ribs back and rotate around. You just add your spice in wherever you need it and then go the other way. Sometimes though, when I just lean, I'm kind of just leaning to one side, I get a really good release in my waistline that I can feel it attaching into the back and the hip. So you can keep going with those circles or if you're like me, oh, so you just get some creative liberty, you start to feel comfortable and you do what feels good. And then you're gonna inhale, come up. And let's switch the cross of the shins so you can just balance it out. And if you were doing circles, now I want you to go the opposite direction. If you were like, oh, I was, I was already going the other way. Well, you get to do it again. So think about some of the things that can get our bodies to get really tight, whether that's through activity, but a great majority of it is through stress. And then if you wanna lean a little bit, which I know none of you have because you signed up for yoga, but for other people, we can just bring more calm and then that'll help other people too. Lean the other way. But one of the things, one of the mantras as we practice today, inhale, come up to center, we're gonna take deer pose. So I'm gonna turn to the long edge of my mat and I won't forget hopefully what I was gonna say. <laughs> Deer pose, right shin is gonna go parallel to the front of your mat and you've got a 90 degree angle with your right knee coming out and your ankle is in line with the knee. And then the back hip, you're gonna slide that knee back so it's in line with your hip and then scooch that bank back ankle out so your ankle bone is in line with your knee. Good, you're gonna inhale here and take your left hand into a C grip and you're going to just do some little, we're gonna over exaggerate the internal rotation and take a little twist start to turn to the right with your torso and then exhale let your torso turn to the left and you're kind of out helping it externally rotate Ooh, getting into that groin so do that a couple of times breathe in let go of your grimacing faces breathe out so as you think about stress a helpful mantra that I like to bring in because usually as we're stressed, we're resisting what is, is may I be content as I am and may I be at peace with what comes. Let's do this one more time. Exhale. Woo. And then inhale, come forward, hold on to this left hand, hold your right shin, or if it's more comfortable, you can put your left hand off to the left and we're gonna reach in a side bend over to the left and I'm sorry not sorry that I'm gonna probably make some noises here because it's gonna feel good and then inhale come up now this right leg you're gonna stretch it up straight and keep the leg externally rotating so you're trying to get the pinky side of your foot down and you're gonna do your best to straighten the leg. It may have a little bend in it and that's okay. I'm gonna take my right hand kind of behind me to help support me, lift up on the four quadricep muscles, get nice and tall, think of that back hip internally rotating and start to turn your torso. Now I already feel some stretch in my leg. If you don't, and my wall's kind of right here, you could lean forward kind of almost on the diagonal Whew, and you're gonna get a nice stretch up there. And this is a great place to incorporate the mantra because 
may I be content with where I am and what's happening in my body in this physical moment. May I be content as I am. And may I be at peace with what comes, right? All the uncertainty that we never know what's happening and coming at us in our day. And then inhale, slowly come up. Bend this leg in. And then you're slowly going to stretch the left leg back into pigeon. Now, for a lot of us, this right shin, it's not going to stay parallel to the top of the mat. So go ahead and let that heel come closer towards your back hip. That's just fine. I want you to stay up on the hands for a moment and allow your body just to move side to side. So when I get done and I'm doing um, kind of post-recovery stretching and things like that, make sure your left leg is straight behind the hip. I notice the tendency to move a little bit more because I just feel like things got so tight that I'm just trying to move them out. So I usually let myself kind of wiggle a little bit. And then we're going to take a thigh stretch. So I'm going to come down onto my left forearm. If you're a little tighter here, you might want to stay up on the hand. We're going to turn to the right and reach back, bend that back leg and see if you can take your opposite hand back and catch the foot. Turn the body open into the twist. And breathing in a way that you almost feel the mantra in the breath. Feel a sense, may I be at peace, may I be content as I am in the breath. As you exhale, feeling a sense, may I be at peace with what comes. And then let go of that back foot. And if you're able to fold deeper, let yourself come down, forehead to the earth or forehead. If you have a block, we'll use it for one other pose today. So if you have one, grab it. Take three or four deep breaths here. And then begin to walk your hands back underneath you. Woo. Reach around for that back leg. Swing it around. We're going to turn to the long edge of the mat. So let your left leg bend in. And now stretch the right leg that was just bent. Stretch that out straight. You're, on, again, facing the long edge of your mat right now. Okay? Take your right arm on the inside of your right leg. Use it just as a little bit of support. Push your arm into your leg, your leg into your arm. Wake up now this left side body. And if you like... You can take the top hand, drape it behind your head. You can actually drape it over your head. Or if you're really open here and you want to grab for the foot, you certainly could. I always get plenty of stretch just reaching. So this wakes up the side body. If you tend to be tighter into the back, a great option here, you're still in the same uh, architecture of the pose is to turn your torso towards your leg and reach your opposite hand towards your outer right foot and that gets both into the side body but also wraps into the back and then I use my right arm just off to the right to support so either one when you have me at hips again if you need more support at any point put a little blanket under here or a towel if you need it but you have me at hips means we're also listening to the body, doing what feels good. Excellent. Then inhale, slowly come up. And now exhale. We're just going to go to the back of the mat and repeat everything. So back leg's going to come in for deer pose. So line it up. You have two 90-degree angles. Take your right hand to the C-shape. Left hand is off to your left to support you. You're going to internally rotate, take that twist, lift your chest up, and then exhale, rock it back. And you're almost, can you feel that right sit bone feel like it's trying to get towards the floor? Inhale, it's going to lift here. Open the chest, turn, turn. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, exhale, Ooh. and then inhale, bring it forward, take your right hand, hold your left shin, and we're going to take a little side body stretch, reaching your left arm up and over, you're going to push your back inner knee down 
into the earth. If it's more comfortable, remember your right hand can go off to the right, or you can even just make sure you're not getting any pain anywhere that's any sort of zinging. You're, you're going to definitely feel a stretch probably in the back groin, left side body. But as always, be mindful if you're ever getting any shooting pains. Good. And then inhale, come up. And now we're going to straighten that left leg. Now, if you need to, you can always bring this back leg up more if it's too much to have this big L shape. The toes, the left toes, you're going to externally rotate them, this back hip. You're internally rotating the back hip, externally rotating the front leg. And my hands just, again, off to the left, straightening that left leg. I feel plenty. Again, if you don't, pull back on the pinky side of your foot push through your inner heel and then if you need more you could either fold entirely to the left or I actually get a lot kind of coming on the diagonal to the outside of my left leg and I have to be really connected here into that breath may I be content as I am May I be at peace with what comes. You can even hold your right hand on that foot and kind of pull against it. And then come up, walk the hands in. Now bend that left leg in, and now it's our back leg that's going straight, coming into pigeon. Grab the block if you think you might need it. Always have the option here, bringing that heel in a little closer. We're going to tuck the toes, look at the back leg, right leg extending back from the hip, and we're starting with that thigh opener. Stay on the right hand or bring the forearm down, right forearm down, right leg bends, left hand's going to reach back and catch that foot. Turning and opening. And you decide if you want to pull the foot, the heel in closer, really getting a deep, deep thigh stretch. If you need more shoulder opener, kicking your foot back more, allowing that shoulder to open and then let go of the foot, fold into pigeon, forehead to the block or floor, rotating the right frontal hip point towards the floor, wrap the outer left hip back, and allow your heart to stretch forward a little deeper, melting right at the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. Inhale, slowly come up. All right, kind of lean left. Back leg is going to come in for Janya Shirshasana, and our left leg is going to stretch out straight. Left arm either on the inside if you're taking this lateral form, keeping that right hip down, maybe a blanket supports that side, or left hand to the outside, more of the twist, turning your torso and right hand reaching towards outer left foot. Or perhaps spend about two or three breaths in each pose, do a little of each. Or this will be one you'll probably want to come back to again and again. <laughs> Just do switch it up. Maybe it's one, one time and the other one the other time. Good. And then inhale, bring it all the way up. And exhale, we're going to come on to the back now from here. Hold on to both of your legs and slowly recline back. Hugging your knees and towards your chest, rock a little bit side to side. Good, and then set your feet to the floor. Feet are going to be hip width apart. And let's just take a bridge pose to open up those shoulders. So inhale, lift your hips, work your upper arms in especially if you did an activity, most activities, we tend to be a little bit more forward. So if you're tighter in the shoulders here, grab the outer edges of your mat, thumbs on top, four fingers underneath. Otherwise, you can clasp your hands underneath you, working the upper arms in closer toward each other. Push the back of your head into the mat. Take another breath and release your clasp set it all down 
Hug your right knee to your chest, extend your left leg long. Let your right ankle start to rotate around and then go the other way. I'm totally that person. If somebody said you had me at hips, I would, I would pick that class leg to the sky. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Clasp your hands behind the back of your hamstring and hug your hands against your hamstring and then resist, push your four quadricep muscles in towards your hand, allowing that outer right hip to move away. Come into a half happy baby. If you're tight here, you can always, and even in that last pose, you can have this left foot on the floor. Otherwise the leg can stay straight. Bend your right knee, flex your foot, point your foot up towards the ceiling, right hand drawing down against the outer edge of your right foot. And if you want a little hamstring here and groin, you can start to stretch that right leg, start to straighten it off to the right. Here a strap or towel, if you had one, would be helpful. But otherwise, just it's okay to have the leg bent. I can almost guarantee we're still feeling a nice quad or a hamstring stretch, even with a bent leg. So don't worry if the leg doesn't go all the way straight. And then bend that leg in. Now everybody left foot is gonna come up and meet your outer right ankle for a figure four, letting go of the right foot. Right arm is gonna go between the legs, left hand around the outside. May I be content as I am. Maybe a little rocking motion, just very gently side to side here. And may I be at peace with what comes. Draw your chin down. Allow your forehead and chin to be level with each other. Release your clasp. Set the left foot to the floor. Right knee is gonna align on top of left. Push into that foot and a little shift of your hips about two to three inches to the right and set the hips down. And then allow your left hand to come to the outer right leg. We're gonna take a twist in the right arm. If you want a little bit more shoulder opener, you can reach the right arm to the sky or you could take it in a cactus shape if that feels good or reach it off into a T. So this gets a, re a really beautiful opening in the outer right hip. If you wanted more thigh or more IT band, I'm a little close to my wall, but you could stretch this top leg straight. It doesn't need to be up higher. It would be in line with your hip. And you could hold the foot with your hand if you want some IT band. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, push into that left foot so you reshift the hips back to center and uncross your legs. Set both feet to the ground, arms by your sides, pause for a moment. And now left leg, left knee to chest, right leg long, heel down, toes point up, rotating the left ankle. And the other way. Leg to the sky, right foot has the option to be on the ground here. Clasp your hands close to your groin on the back of the hamstring. Flex your foot, move your outer left hip away from your left shoulder, hug your hands against your hamstring, hamstrings. <laughs> might notice some shaking. Sometimes I'll definitely get some shaking uh, post activity, doing a post stretch, a post recovery stretch. Half happy baby, bend the leg, left hand to the outer left foot, right hand, you can just put it on top of your thigh. And here you could stretch the leg out straight if that felt good or just keep it in the happy baby either way if 
you're straightening the leg, move the outer left hip, the flesh of the outer left hip. Carve it under and to the outside like you're moving it towards the back of your mat. And then bend that leg in, bend your right leg in, let go of your left foot and let that right leg catch your left ankle. So your left ankle bone just outside your um, right knee and then we're going to clasp the hand. So right arm on the outside, left arm threads between, chin draws down and maybe adding just those little baby rocks side to side or maybe you like more of a circular shape like your knee is painting a circle on the ceiling. And then see if you can be steady now for a couple breaths. Minimize your movement. Continue to draw your right thigh towards you. Left knee moving away from you. Release your clasp, right foot to the floor, left knee, align it on top of your right, push into that right foot, little shift to those hips, couple inches left and set the hips down. And now right hand is going to come to your outer left leg and left arm can cactus, reach overhead or come into a T-shape. Gaze towards your left arm. Unless you're looking up, you can just gaze left. Again, breathing in the quality of, may I be content as I am. May I be at peace with what comes. Spinning the rib cage to the left. Giving a nice compression here to the organs as we take this twist. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, uncross the legs. Allow now the soles of your feet to come together. Cactus your arms. Inhale, open up the chest. Take a deep breath in, breathe in. May I be content as I am. And exhale, may I be at peace with what comes. Good, you can stay here, but allow your arms to come down by your sides, or if you like, let your legs one at a time begin to straighten out. We'll take just a minute or two here in Shavasana. Even on a short practice, I will always work in a minute or two to just be. Allow your fingers and toes to start to wiggle again. Take your arms up and over your head. Point your feet, maybe rotate them around in a circle a couple times, going the other way. Maybe even the wrists over your head. And then feet to the floor. Let's roll to the right side. Use your right arm for a moment as you pause on your side. And then use the hands to come all the way back up to an easy seat. Palms together at your heart space. Eyes can be opened. 
gazing down at the floor or still closed. As you leave your mat today, remember to draw in this mantra as you feel yourself maybe resisting the moment and what it's offering you sometimes. May I be content as I am. May I be at peace with what comes. And using whichever mantra in the moment that may be helpful. As you draw thumbs to third eye, thank you for taking just a few short minutes to unwind both in body, body and mind. It was my pleasure to be with you. Namaste. Whew. Thank you, everybody. Now go watch Jerry Maguire. You had me at hello. <laughs> Thank you. I'd love to hear in the comments what was your what's your favorite hip opener, and maybe we'll do another one um, in this series, another hip opening practice. So if you want to post in the comments, um, share with us your favorite hip opener. Thanks, everybody. Namaste. Until next time.